Yeah, but it, you know, like we did it, uh, we put ourselves in too big of a hole. You can't do that. You know, where we are right now, the fight has to be greater. What was lacking early? Uh, intensity. They're the type of team you have to play. You have to play for the entire possession. You know, you got to sprint to get back. You know, we didn't do that. He's up there. It's hard to argue with, you know, what he's done. And, you know, you, you could put uh, Chris Paul in that conversation as well. They have two MVP candidates. Uh, Harden, obviously, you know, because he's played the whole year. Uh, and Chris, you know, missed games with his injury. But you know, that's about as good as it gets in terms of uh, dribble penetration, shooting, uh, awareness, uh, two elite players. Just got to keep doing what he's doing, you know. Uh, you know, there's a lot of subtleties to, you know, he's playing great defense, and, you know, I don't think people see it. You know, he did it in the Washington game. He's, you know, but we need everyone playing well. Yeah. Uh, you know, I. You know, you look at Harden, it's 14 free throws. You look at Paul, there's 10 free throws. You know, and I'm not, I'm just saying the, it seemed like it was, it was odd. You know, I thought Taj had a couple of tough calls early in the game. And, you know, that, that changes the game. You talk, you know, you're talking about one of the best defenders in the league he has to go off the floor. And, I mean, I, I saw calls in that game that, I, I, don't, I don't know. I can't even. I can't even begin to. Isn't that a great comeback? Uh, well, shot sixty-three percent and forty-seven percent in the first half. Well, yeah. The, the thing is, is we can't. You know, we can't feel good about it because, you know, we put ourselves in a hole, and you have to play for 48 minutes and getting ready to play and taking strengths away or not allowing people to go to their strengths is it's a big part of winning and that's that part has to be corrected when you play like six or seven really good teams in a row does the repetitiveness of the caliber of competition is that harder mentally on a team when well i mean i think if you're in the west that's your reality and for all of us i mean if you took if you looked at everyone's last 20 games, you, you, every team is you're like we're all looking at the same thing, and you're you're going to hit a stretch where you you might be there might be seven or eight in a row. Just it has to happen just because of the teams that are in the conference. And I think you know the way we have to approach it is to understand that that should bring it, the best out of you. The competition should bring the best out of you, and so. Um, to understand what goes into winning, the intensity that's required, and you know it's not okay just to you know miss on a play. You know you're not going to be perfect. No one's going to be perfect out there, but the effort and concentration has to be better. And you know the a mental mistake could be the difference. If a guy, if you do something and you execute something well, and they make a tough shot and they've gone to something that's not their strength. Then that, that's a big part of winning, also. But if you if you're allowing them to get to their strengths, you know that's not good. Talk about Crawford a little bit, boy. Well, he sure gave you good effort tonight. Yeah, he, he gave us a, you know a, a good spark, and now it was good to see him see the ball go in for him. You know, we've go, we've gone through a stretch now where it's been up and down, but when he makes, it makes us different. He's the best shooter in the team. He's I I wanted you know he, he's not a. Uh, pure shooter, he's a scorer, and that's the thing. And he could do it like I thought he did a great job of attacking their switching. And what he did was we recognized it, we flattened out, he made good reads and good decisions. Like he, he got into the paint, he, that's really what got us going. And then, you know, once we were able to make the right plays, 
that and we you know you score 120 points you should that should be a win so um, but that that was a, a big plus Uh, it's just, yeah, just, you know, like, there's a lot of banging going on inside. You know, it's that's part of the game, but I didn't think it was anything serious. You know, it's just. Did Gorky give you some? Yeah, yeah, the, the start of the fourth was really good. Would you say, hey, take, you away your, um, I'm sorry. take away your, uh, oh. take away team's strengths. Is that why you were so upset on a few plays where they got really quick baskets within like three seconds? Well, it, it was after made baskets too, you know, and, and you know, like Capella's going to sprint the floor, you know, you, and you know, if you're jogging back, that's a problem. That's a problem, you know. And then, you know, the dribble penetration, we have to know where we're we're trying to force guys, and we have to know what the coverages are. And we have to communicate in transition. We're giving up open threes, you know, and that's can't do that. Can't do that. So, you know, and that that's the one thing that I think, you know, Derek with the second unit has given us some defense. And we need that. Go ahead, Sid, I'm sorry. <coughs> You're the birthday guy. Go ahead. Pounds, I think. Yeah, it, there's gonna be a physicality to this. And you know, there's he's got to be aggressive and go into the basket, and it seems like he does get hit a lot more than you know he doesn't get get to the line like he should for a guy who is always going to the basket. And there's you know there's some frustration in that, but that's also part of the game. And I think you know you have to make them make the call. You know we can't like. Euro step away from the contact. You got to go through the contact. You got you got to go through the chest. Make him make the call. Doc, obviously, big game, sellout crowd, playoffs on the line. Why would you think that your team had a lack of intensity starting out? Uh, I don't know if it was a lack of intensity as much as you know, like you're coming in and they, virtually both teams were doing the same thing, both in back to back. You know, you, you're getting in late. Uh, and then it's an early start, so readiness to play is, you know, a big part of it. And so, uh, and you got to be ready when you're playing against them for the speed of the game. And so, you know, I don't know if, if that was the case. And then I thought in the second half, you know, the, it was there. And so that's the, the part of the, you know, uh, I would say frustration is probably the, the wrong word, but. I know we're capable of doing better. Thanks, Coach. Yeah.